So let's read example two. The side of a cube is increasing at a rate of 12 feet per second. Find the rate of change of the volume of the cube when the side equals two feet. So let's start with a diagram. Let's draw a picture of a cube. Okay, so I've drawn a picture of a cube with each side being S. Let's identify the things that we know. The side is increasing at a rate of 12 feet per second. So this would be denoted as ds dt is equal to 12 feet per second. The question asks us to find the rate of change of the volume, which would be dv dt, when the side is equal to 2 feet. So I've placed all of the clues, the givens and the things that we're supposed to find in the, in the green box. Now I need to think of an equation or a formula that's going to relate all these things together. And since we're dealing with a cube and we're dealing with the volume of a cube, I'm going to use the volume formula for a cube, which is volume equals side cubed. Now there are two variables in this formula. One is for volume and one is for side. And what I want to ask myself before I start is over time are these quantities changing? Over time is the volume of this cube changing? And the answer is yes. And we know that because the side over time is getting larger. So therefore the volume will also be getting larger. Because these variables are changing over time, I cannot substitute into the equation until I've taken a derivative. So I'm at that stage now where I'm going to take the derivative and I need to remember that I'm taking it with respect to time t. So if I take the derivative of v with respect to t, I end up getting dv dt. If I take the derivative of s cubed with respect to t, I'm going to get 3s squared ds dt. Now my objective is to get dv dt by itself. And luckily for us, it's already isolated in this resulting derivative. So I just need to, at this time, plug in. So I'm going to say that dv dt is equal to 3 times blank squared times blank. Now the first blank is for the side. And we're supposed to substitute in when the side is 2 feet. So I'm going to place 2 in the first blank. And the second blank is for ds dt. And that's given in the very beginning of the question as 12 feet per second. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 12 is 144. And now we have to think about the units for our answer. Now, one way to figure out the units is just to use common sense. And since we're talking about a change in volume, the volume of this particular cube would be cubic feet per second. Another way to think about the units would be to actually plug in the units into the formula. So if we look at this s squared, our s is 2 feet. And if we plugged in feet here, we'd end up getting feet squared. And then the ds dt would introduce another feet per second, so you get your cubic feet per second there. So one method would be to actually use the units in the calculation. The other way would be just to use common sense and say, hey, we're looking for the change in volume, so this has to be cubic units. So I'm going to go ahead and box this final answer, 144 cubic feet per second.